Arbory is finally here, and there is plenty to do and discover. Hello Tamers, my name is Livid, and welcome to Legacy Game. Today, we are going to take a look at the brand new Tawai Evolution Tutsu, and show you how to access it, and if this Temtem is worth the effort. Now, Tawai is arguably one of Temtem's coolest creatures. It's the only Temtem in the game that has a number of evolutions that are triggered independent of one another, and not simply just type changes like Koish and Chromia. Now, fair warning with this one. If you're new to Temtem and still playing through the story, you can't access this particular shrine, even if you beat all the Guardians at the Chieftain's Barrow, until you complete the main story. A lot of videos don't mention this, so I wanted to make you aware of that. With that out of the way, let's break it down enough for you to be successful. Now, the Melee Shrine is located on the island of Arbury, in the northwest corner in the Mudshire Cromlech. Now, this is one of the few shrines that doesn't really have any sort of lead up to it. It's just there, out in the open. Now inside, you'll need to fight through the standard four Shrine Guardians, with an entirely melee-focused team, and all of these Guardians are rocking Temtem in the 80-plus level range. My advice? You can power through the Shrine in three possible ways. My preferred way was running a Psypat and a size much. Now my Temtem are competitive-bred perfect Temtem, so they hit a lot harder and can survive a lot more than the average Temtem. I then just added a bunch of Psypats to my team to pad out any necessary revives for my main two heavy hitters. Now your other option is to just run dual mushrooms. Now they're tanky, they hit hard, and they benefit from Urishal synergy. Now your last option is to just train up a ragtag team of melee temtem that you catch along the way in Arbory, since they can be found all in the 60 to 70 range. Now simply adhere to one of these three strats after you beat the story, and you'll easily tackle the shrine. Now once the path is cleared, there's only one thing left to do. Evolve your Tawai. Walk up to the shrine, select the Tawai that you want to evolve, and behold your brand new Tutsu. Now, is this Temtem any good? In terms of stats, it has a pretty decent HP and even spread in defense and special defense. That's moderately good. The speed and physical attack values are also pretty high, and being a wind melee type, Tutsu could be a solid physical attacker for your team. In terms of traits, it has Tag Team and Contemplation. Tag Team, I think it's okay, but not great. It makes it so damage taken from techniques is reduced by 10% if both allies share a type. Obviously, this seems like a very niche strat, and one that's probably prone to failure, so because of that, I think it's the weaker of the two traits. The second trait, Contemplation, which you'll get if you evolve a Resilient to Y, will make it so when you rest, your Tutsu's attack stat will go up one stage. Now, as a physical attacker, this is very good if you can keep it on the field safely, Tutsu also looks awesome and is a fine addition to Temtem. It comes into the Tempedia at number 136, fully completing the six possible evolutions for Tawai. Now we hope you all found this Temtem survival guide helpful. If you want more Temtem guides and videos in your feed, don't forget to drop us a like and consider subscribing so you never miss a thing. If you're interested in joining the Legion Club, hop into our Discord and introduce yourself. We're always on the lookout for new tamers that want to help us out especially as we approach Club Wars potentially coming in Temtem's 1.0 update. Now, my name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.